The crime-solving adventure continues as you enter the lower city after solving the Open Hand Temple murders, and you'll have in hand a whole list of potential victims. With the blood-stained parchment in hand, you can speak to Valeria, and she'll admit that the case isn't over, telling you to visit her assistant, Devella Fountainhead. Devella can be found in the Elf Song Tavern where she is investigating another crime scene, the death of Duke Stelmain. I wonder if it's as I remember it. Oh, bollocks! I told those idiots not to let anyone through. You, name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. To fetch her another bottle of mead, no doubt. Yes, I'm Devella, the unfortunate colleague. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stelmane's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. God, that's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound, but this... I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man, Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. He ruled the Iron Throne, a dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal Temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chionthar. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. I've not ruled out the possibility that it is Saravok himself. The brutality of the killings is certainly reminiscent of his work. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts. The depth, the execution. The best butchers in Room couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. There are Patriars on the murder target list. I'm oath-bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the Upper City next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? Not from round here, are you? We're in Boulder's Gate. This is just how things work. Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarchs, I'll head to Basilisk Gate to have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck. Cora Highbury can be found at a wine-tasting party on the patio by her home, accompanied by her husband and Dolor Mesley, her guest of honour and the supplier of all the wine. 
The wine contains a paralytic poison, and you must warn Cora, otherwise the poison will kick in on Cora and her husband, and Dolor will stab her dead and escape. To start the fight and save Cora, you should select the dialogue choice, which is telling her that she's being targeted by a serial killer. Mm, they do look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury, I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzley, and I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. No. I must say, if this is a practical joke, it's not very amusing. Why, a serial killer? Oh, that's terrible. Master Metzley, are you quite all right? It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face. And I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. Fucker. He escaped. Going to his next victim, no doubt. I still 
still can't believe. Why would anyone want to kill me? Thank you for saving us. I just hope the children are safe. Frank Peartree's house is the next closest. It can be found heading down the stairs to the left of the wine festival. Although he's already dead, it's well worth investigating the scene for some more evidence, a cache of weapons, and another piece of Dribbles the Clown. the time. <laughs> we'll just stand here until you remember the way, shall we? Right. Down the stairs and almost up the stairs. regards you lifelessly. Frank Pertree. remains silent. It does not know. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. We're lost. Alexander Rainforest is already dead just like Frank's, but it's worth forcing your way into his house for another piece of the Dribble the Clown quest. Yes, you go down in history of 
Oh, hello. Ooh, are you the new cheese dropper? I do hope so. I'm almost down to the last crumbs. Alexander was his name. He dropped all manner of morsels, but the cheeses were the best until the red man visited. A dwarf, all dressed in red. He smiled and held Alexander close, and then Alexander was shouting and struggling, and soon he was all dressed in red as well. So many red morsels fell out of Alexander. They tasted like salt and rust. Very good. Even better than cheese. <laughs> A way to make more people red and to spill their tasty morsels. Go away now. Your delicious scent makes me crave your morsels, but it would be rude to bite you. It's much safer this side of the city walls. Chef Rovere can be found at Elfsong Tavern in the kitchen. When you try to warn him about the upcoming murder attempt, he simply won't care. All he cares about are the rats in the basement. If you already eliminated the rats, you can simply tell him that he is targeted by a killer. You take care now, all right? Be sure you do. Life's too short not to. Of course I heard about it. I heard it. Just look. Hi, you already got paid. No more work here. Plenty of rats elsewhere in the city. Go kill those. Rats. Murderers. Always knew the chef gig wasn't going to be easy. Do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept peeled for murdering types. If you failed to stop Dolor from fleeing from the wine festival, Dolor can be found a second time holding a knife to Figaro Pennygood's throat in the Facemaker's boutique just across from the Baldur's Gateway point. Devella will also be present and paralyzed on the floor. You'll have to interrupt Dolor before he can kill Figaro. If you already defeated Dolor at the wine festival, you just need to speak with Figaro, but you'll need to speak to him twice to get the prompt to tell him he's a murder target. If you don't get the prompt the second time, buy something from him to continue the conversation. What could it take standing in that godforsaken line a moment longer? It's unusual for prey to supply the tools of its own butchery. Razors, scissors, nail files. So many cuts one couldn't make. And yet, such a fleeting window. But then, who am I to deny the auspices of destiny? For we are celebrating, Master Figaro. 
You have the delicious honor of being my crowning achievement. Your body is my ultimate gift to my lord, Bar. Together, we shall transcend. You see, I will save your final breath, my last kill, if you are coming. Do you think we could swim into the upper sea? Through the river? Maybe. Nah, you're right. And I'm not the best swimmer anyway. Gods know what else is down there and all. can't even browse while he's with a client. Forsaken life a moment longer. Felt like I was gonna faint. They probably chucked you in the river if you did. <laughs> probably. Nah, you're right. 
And I'm not the best swimmer anyway. No way to run a business, I say. Can't even... Soldier. Say bye bye. No way to run a business, I say. Can't have a crowd while he's with a Queuing because you felt funny. You are the funny one. I mean, yes, mostly. Why did you stop queuing then? I couldn't take standing in that godforsaken line a moment longer. Pathways, skies, and a location. We should find this Kendall Hallow place. And they'd probably chuck you in the river if you did. Whether you got the instructions from Ulfaith or Dolor's corpse, you'll have to go to Kendall Hallow's tombstones to access the murder tribunal and defeat Saravok Anchev. Once Saravok is defeated, you can free Valeria, who will pinpoint the location of the Temple of Baal for you, bringing the end of the Investigate the Murders quest. Here goes nothing. Seems like a good moment to talk. Citizen, thank the gods you're here. My wrinkles are starting to chafe. As an officer of the law, I demand you free me at once. Get here and free me at once! Thanks for freeing me so quickly. No idea what those Baalist Burks had planned with me, but those chains were starting to chafe. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I... Uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Well, at least it's over now. Oh, well, 
I'd call you rude, but I have the misfortune of owing you my life. You gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have what I don't. Courage, insight, heroism. The city needs you. I overheard these pigs talking. There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity that the cult is using. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic sorts. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh?